Windows is one of the easiest operating systems to use, but sometimes it does things that you may not be very clear about. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Canada Technology, and in this video, we're talking about how you can fix the Windows button not working in Windows 11. Now, uh, one of the first things that you're going to check if your Windows button is not working is if you have a hardware locked Windows button. A lot of gaming keyboards have this functionality where you can lock the Windows key so you don't accidentally hit it when you're playing games. And if you le left that lock on, this can result in the fact that you will not be able to open your start menu. If you've checked that on your keyboard and that hasn't fixed your problem, we uh, can move on to disabling the gaming mode in Windows. Now you can do this by pressing Windows key plus I to open Windows settings, heading over to gaming, and then clicking on game mode and you will see the game mode optimization slider right here go ahead and disable it now this uh, may or may not fix your issue but what it does is that it removes exclusive control uh, from keyboard and other apps so if a program may be trying to lock out your windows key that might not happen once you disable this If that doesn't solve your problem either, the next thing to do is to update your keyboard drivers. Now you can do this by either using whatever app uh, your keyboard came with. So if you have a Logitech keyboard, you may find firmware updates in the Logitech software. Or uh, if you just have a regular keyboard like uh, me, or if your keyboard didn't come with a specific software, you can go ahead, press Windows key plus X to open the quick access menu. Click on device manager. And in here, uh, expand keyboards and you will see all of your keyboards listed here what we're going to do is uh, one by one we're going to update their drivers so right click click on update driver search automatically for drivers and my system tells me that I already have the best drivers installed but that may not be the case for you so uh, make sure you update all of these drivers one at a time and once you're all done just plug uh, unplug and plug your keyboard again and you should be good to go If that doesn't help either, uh, chances are it's an issue with Windows itself. So the one of the easiest way of resolving this is to just press Windows key plus X or open up the start menu if you can by clicking on the button. Click uh, search for CMD and once command prompt opens up, run the SFC slash scan now command. What this does is it will scan your system uh, for any broken or missing files and attempt to repair them. Uh, it will also give you a full system health uh, checkup sort of thing so that you'll know if there is something wrong with your system. Finally, if that doesn't help you either, your last chance is to pretty much look for a Windows update. Now, uh, you can do this by pressing Windows key plus I and then going to the last section, which is Windows update. As you can see, mine has just been updated, um, but yours may not be the case. And there may be a feature or a fix update in there that would resolve this issue. Uh, so make sure you look for Windows update, run them and that's that. You should be able to get the Windows key working. Again, if you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.